Off a seven furlong, slow to get away. Dr. Zempf in the shades of green and Rohan, black jacket in customary fashion. Pogo gets away sharply, pushes the pace along through the first furlong of the Group 2 Skybet City of York Stakes. Out wide, the grey Art Power is accompanying him, and they've gone off sharply here. Three lengths ahead of Sacred in the red, white, and blue, chasing the pace. Frankie aboard Kinross, Mauve Jacket disputing fourth with Sandrine, the white and green. And then Alsa Hale, Buick in a raw blue jacket, Jumbi alongside Maroon Silks, Rohan and Dr. Zemf in rear as they straighten and head down towards halfway. And it's Art Power kicking on in front, stretches over two lengths ahead of Pogo chasing. Uh, then a three-length break to Sacred, uh, being followed through by Kinross, Sandrine in a sheepskin nosebound, then Alsa Hale, Jumbi in a maroon jacket, ridden along, Dr. Zemp away to the left, Rohan beginning to thread his way through from the rear, the black and maroon, running down now towards the last quarter mile. Art Powers, grey head still just in front, away to the left, here comes Frankie, though, on Kinross, Pogo between them, nosebound is Sandrine down the middle with Sacred, then Alsa Hale and Rohan, deep inside the furlong they come, Pogo, Kinross coming alongside. These two now moving on. Frankie driving away. Kinross in front. Frankie strikes. Kinross wins the City of York. From Pogo, Sandrine up for third. And Art Power in fourth in a race in which few got involved. A first winner of the week at York for Frankie de Tori aboard Kinross, trained by Wraith Beckett at 5-1. to one. Pogo was second at 9-1. to one. And Sandrine was third at five to one. Yeah, Frankie de Tori on board a horse that was giving him his first winner of the week, trained by Wraith Beckett. All wins prior to this on turf, on good to soft or softer ground, including in similar company, but galvanised by Frankie. Wins pretty well in the end from Pogo and Sandrine the filly. Frankie Dottori was on board. Kin Ross, who's just won the City of York. This is a horse you've always said has got a load of gears, and he showed it there. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it gets too far back, like I did a good one. I was very unlucky, a good one. Another strike that would have won. And again, the first three, with the first three here, is very solid. Is a joy to ride because it's got that burst of acceleration that no many horses have, and uh, and he always runs his good race. So. Um, you know, uh, uh, I'm very pleased for my mate, Mark Chan, that yeah. he's watching in Hong Kong. This is a, that was a very deep group too. Do you think he can win at a higher level, this horse? Look, confidence a, a lot with horses, and he's in, he's in, a, in a good place at the moment. Uh, Rafe is toying with the idea of maybe dropping back to six at uh, ADOC, mm -hmm. because he really likes soft ground, and uh, we'll see. All the options are open, but I guess the main target would be the foray. Last year on a super race, I was drawn too, too, too far out. With a decent draw, he should uh, be very competitive. Well, Ray Beckett was saying yesterday that he felt that Kinross was very unlucky in the Lennox, a fast finishing second. He has righted that, 